doubles finalists make their way onto court. And this is where it all started as far as Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang are concerned because a year ago at the China Masters was their first ever tournament together in partnership. The previous tournament to that had been the World Championships and they faced each other in the final of those World Championships opposite sides of the net. After the Paris World Championships, the partnership was mixed about and swapped round and head coach Li Yongbo decided on Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang was going to be the strongest combination. Decision that Since this tournament last year, they've played 12 individual tournaments, they've won nine titles. One of those tournaments, this lady, Wang Xiaoli, got carried off court, injured in the first round of the China Open. And apart from that, they've only lost twice, once at the Asian Games in the final against their teammates Tian Qing and Zhao Yunlei, and lost to that same pair in the final of Malaysia. So, the world number ones, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, thoroughly deserving that title. 25-year-old Yu Yang from Liaoning province. Of course, Olympic champion in the women's doubles, won that title in Beijing with Du Jing, and also Olympic bronze medalist in the mix with her Han Bin. So for Wang Xiaoli, she, of course, was silver medalist at those world championships last year, gold medalist this year in Wembley last month. So they are the world champions, and quite frankly, who would bet against them winning gold in London 2012, the form they're in at the moment. Tang Jinhua, the 19-year-old, she and her partner, both 19 years of age, won the World Junior title two years ago when it was staged in Malaysia. Sha Huan, world ranking at the moment for this pair of 85, but you can't pay any attention to that because they've only got three tournaments towards that world ranking up to a number of tournaments of course is 10 to get a realistic world ranking you, you need 10 tournaments and then if you've got more than 10 tournaments then you can discard your worst results for well, when you've only got three and one of those results included winning the Indian international event in December last year on that, they've only played in China, an international senior competition that is, rather than the junior event. But what a tournament they've had, the youngsters. Second round, they beat the number two seeds, uh, Mayuki Maeda and Satoko Suitsuna of Japan. I'm right. Bronze medalist from so the World Championships. And on my left, Lia Wang Xiaoli. So the world champions, the world number ones, and the defending champions, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang, the far side of the court in the yellow shirts, up against the former world junior champions, Sha Wuhan and Tang Jinhua. Well, I was telling you that the youngsters have had a great tournament because in the first round they beat Dwala Gutta and Ashwini Bonapa of India in three games. They, of course, were the bronze medalists from the World Championships last month. And then in the second round beat the other bronze medalists from last month's World Championships, Maeda and Suitsuna. Quarter final disposed of teammates Cheng Shu and Pan Pan, the number eight seeds. And yesterday in the semi final disposed of the number three seeds. New All England finalists this year, Mizuki Fuji and Roika Kakiwa. In the semi final yesterday against our Japanese pair, current world number threes, won in two straight games. Apart from that, they've gone the full distance, three games in their first three matches. So for this pair, well, they had a bye in the first round. Semi final against the number four seeds, the only pair they've ever lost a match to their teammates Tian Qing and Xiao Yunlei. 
needed three games to come through 21-19 in the decider. An hour and six minutes that was. That appeals even to insignificance in comparison to the marathon matches that these two youngsters have endured and come through. That second round match against the number two seeds, Maeda and Suetsuna, an hour and 29 minutes. Well, this is actually the second time that these two pairs have met each other in international competition. First time was the first round of this event last year. And it was three games on that occasion. Well, oh, this is anything but a foregone conclusion, especially when you look at that previous head-to-head -head encounter and also the number of world-class pairs that these youngsters have beaten so far in this tournament. Oh, I'll go. Mm, real confusion. Smash racket. Just allowing her opponent to try out the new racket. Yeah, crisp smashing it from Yu Yang. Landed in good defence. And I think, as far as the world number ones are concerned, they do have a very definite favoured formation, which is Yu Yang coming forward to the net, Wang Xiao Li doing an awful lot of the hard work from the back of the court. Sons that the world champions are a little bit nervous about this. So they should be. Perhaps there's nerves on both sides. confused as to where she's supposed to be standing on court. It is her that's receiving.
confusion again. Oh, it's too flat, it's gone long. Concerned and built themselves up so much to their semi final match last night against Tian Ching and Zhao Yun Lei that emotionally and perhaps physically they're a little bit drained from that. Of course, all the pressure is on the world champions here. Back against players that are still juniors. Very disappointingly yesterday to Jan Yang Ziao. Now yeah, push, push deeper and deeper in her defence, Shana Fulman. Call good. Yu Yang doesn't like the call. Well, I have to say, I was surprised by her decision to leave it. Because her opponent's been pulled out of position. All she had to do. Ooh. See it again, see it in slow motion. <laughs> oh, good play by the youngsters. Lee and Yu Yang playing. They're so aggressive in their style. I've talked at length about how refreshing and how good it is to watch them play because they are adventurous. They do like to attack. And we have been through a period where women's doubles has very much revol revolved around defensive play, which is not so attractive to watch. Dynamic, exciting, attacking play. Always better for the spectators. We haven't really seen too much of their all out attack so far in this contest. I know they're capable of it. Perhaps testament to the defensive qualities of their opponents. She took that game out, but won the rally nonetheless. And in a remarkable surprise, it is the former women junior champions who have the advantage at the mid game interval against the current world champions. Well, well, well. well I said this wasn't going to be a full ball conclusion. And a big game into four. There's no 
doubt in my mind. These two are feeling the pressure, the burden of expectation now they've become world champions. of the net cords. Juan. Clever. Nice change of pace from Yu Yang. Yeah, delightful. Rather concerning, though, that she was asking to tell down immediately. Struggling with her fitness, or maybe struggling with an injury. Uh, it's the change of pace. Last two rallies, a little block, and also the drop shot that has done the damage. little signs of frustration. Yeah, I think that semi-final late yesterday evening with Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang. Mentally and physically taken its toll. Taken from Wang Xiao Li. people here expected it to be as close as this in these early stages. Game one, absolutely level, 14 all. Confusion again, my goodness. wide well when you look at the overall picture of the amount of badminton that these 
four players have had to play throughout the duration of this tournament throughout the week as the mixed doubles winners get a little bit of talking to and a bit of advice from their coach when you look at the big picture it is the youngsters who have been on court for far longer youngsters have played four previous matches world champions only three because they got a bye in the first round in fact it's a little disappointing that only 24 players in the women's doubles competition here four of 32 32, four were supposed to come in the qualifying event, but just not enough entries to fill those 32 places. stars of the future up against the stars of the present that's the right sort of form and rally we are used to seeing from Wan Xiao Li and Yu Yang Ah! Uh, this is obviously each point is fairly critical at this stage of a game. Unforced errors like that won't help the youngsters. Flick serve to me. in attacking play that we usually see from the world champions. Yeah, that's more like it. Good rally. A lot of patience in the end. by the youngsters. points away from the opening game. Ah! Wow. 
Sisters were to win this opening game. They only need two points, it's 19 all. And I'd be very interested to see how the world champions reacted to that. And psychologically, they'd be able to come back. Well, I have to say it's a little bit naughty from Yu Yang. Got ready, waited until her opponent was about to serve and then said, no, nope, I'm not ready. Wonderful. Sharp run, guiding the shuttle across court into the open space for the outright winner. And now the youngsters have game point. showing great form all week they've already disposed of both the bronze medalists from the recent world championships they've already disposed of the number two and three seeds and here they are a game up against the current world champions and number one seeds extraordinary 21 19 a little over 20 here because the umpire I think has called for the tournament referee and I have a nasty feeling that either Wang Xiaoli or Yu Yang is going to pull out of this final. Obviously, I don't know what the problem is. Illness or injury, I'm really not sure. But it looks to me as if the tournament doctor has been called. to me is if it's possibly Wang Xiao Li, but certainly one of these players looks as if they've perhaps had enough. Yes, it's Wang Xiao Li. Well, this would be absolutely tragic. I was saying towards the end of that opening game that I'd be very interested to see how the world champions reacted psychologically and mentally to try and come back if they weren't to win that opening game. Well, there's a nice pack coming out. Looks as if it's going on an ankle, I have to say, that's the the Chinese team doctor. Now, it was my understanding that it had to be the tournament doctor assessing or treating my. Well, be wrong. But I suspect that is the Chinese team doctor. Yeah, there we go, Yu Yang has shaken hands with opponents. The crowds are not pleased at all. I have to say that is extremely disappointing. Well, Wang Xiao Li, I think, is in tears. I can't say as I saw any real problem with her movement in that opening game. Didn't 
appear to be something that went drastically wrong. But she's decided she's had enough, and therefore the title is awarded to the former world junior champions. My goodness, we're going to be seeing an awful lot of Sharp, Huan, and Tang Jinghua because they are very talented indeed. And she's hobbling through the court. I did make comment, of course, in the opening game that uh, they weren't playing their normal style, and I thought that they may be fatigued from their semi-final late yesterday evening. And as I say, I can't say that I really noticed any problem with her movement. I just thought maybe they were a little bit tired, but obviously it was more than just fatigue, and that it was actually an injury problem. But of course, that means that we will have the prize presentation coming up very shortly, and it gives me the opportunity to tell you what else we've got coming up later on this afternoon. And of course, following the prize presentation for the women's doubles, we'll have the women's singles final, and local player Jiang Yangxiao against the 2009 winner, Wang Shexian. And then the last of our five finals this afternoon will be men's doubles. The holders and two-time winners of this China Masters title, the four times world champions, appearing in their fifth final, Kai Yun and Fu Haifang, up against Zhang Jae Sung and Li Yongdae of Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now about to begin the awarding ceremony.
just explaining what the problem had been with her partner. Certainly got a big bag of ice on her ankle right now at the champions from a year ago. Had to settle for second best in the champions this year. I hope we're going to see a lot more of Sharp, Juan and Tang. Former world junior champions have been absolutely sensational throughout the tournament. Pair won the event in India in December last year. Apart from that, they've only played international events here in China. The China Masters last year and the China Open. Distinguished guests, please leave the park. Dear players, 